Hi there and welcome back to Valley Por Vida. Well, the Broken Sprocket is a modern food truck park that is bike, dog, family, and cycling friendly. And they've got a nice outdoor beer and wine garden, live music stage, and of course, plenty of delicious food. But one food truck in particular offers great tasting food and we dropped by to learn more. Go ahead and check it out. What's going on guys? Here with Infusion Eats, a uh, food truck here at the Broken Sprocket. Give you a little story about our food truck here. We've only been open for about two months. Um, I got my partner, Gaspar, who's also owner of Golden Corral. You know, we partnered up together, threw some ideas around and created an Infusion Eats. So with Infusion Eats, we have a lot of different options for you here. Uh, obviously the infusion of different cultures, Japanese, American, Indian, Latin American. Uh, we also offer healthy options such as vegan options or vegetarian. Um, so, you know, if you're looking for somewhere healthy to, to come out and eat at, at the food truck park, come and check us out. So what makes us unique uh, is not only, you know, the infusions that we do, but, you know, we try and offer things that you can't get anywhere else, you know, at a restaurant or at a, any other food truck park. Guys, we're open uh, from now, Wednesday through Sunday. Wednesday through Saturday, we're open from 6 to 11, sometimes later. On Sunday, we're working on changing our hours, so that's to be announced. Um, but something also for the summer, guys, we're gonna be posted up on the island. We're gonna be at the, the resort over by Isla Blanca by the end of this month, I believe. So not only here at the Broken Sprocket, but look for us on the island as well. Um, also, we are a mobile unit. Uh, we can go from place to place. You know, on Tuesdays, we set up at Shot Republic for our Taco Tuesday since the park's not open. Um, if you're looking for a catering service, we can provide that as well. Not only what we have on our menu, we do have other items. We've done, you know, American Wagyu, we've done lobster tail, we've done king crab, you name it. You want it, we'll do it. So marketing, social media, guys, we have our infusioneats.com. We always have our scan codes everywhere. You might see us on a sticker, you might see us on a card, but it's always gonna be on our truck as well. Facebook, Instagram, check us out, tag us, comment. We're always posting constantly. You know, every single day that we're out here, we're always trying to get as much content as possible. Their team will continue serving up unique tasting and uh, great tasting and healthy food. Now, if you'd like more information, then you can feel free to check out the information on your screen. All right, well, the city of McAllen, Hidalgo County, McAllen ISD, AGV, Driscoll Health Plan, and Capable Kids Foundation have all come together for an all-new, all-inclusive park in the city of McAllen. And our team dropped by to learn more. I'm Sofia Pena and I'm the Executive Director of Capable Kids Foundation. Capable Kids Foundation is a wonderful organization. We provide services to children and persons with disabilities. We don't have, um, a dis we're a non-disability specific group actually. So every disability you can think of is represented within our organization. We are all about inclusion, social inclusion and we provide activities and other support services for our families at no cost. And we are generally just super duper advocates for the disability community. So we are a nonprofit and we rely on the generosity of the community to keep us going and to be able to provide all of these services and activities for our families. And so we are involved in the community. We partner with, we have great partnerships with the different cities the city of McAllen, the city of Edinburgh, um, different school districts, Lyford, um, just some really great partnerships within not just the Hidalgo County area, but the four county areas. So Star Hidalgo, Cameron and Willisey. And uh, we also partner with great partners like HEB and Driscoll Health Plan. And so our involvement is just for the purposes of making our entire region more inclusive. Okay, good morning everyone. My name is Marisa Puido Pesina and I'm an inclusive play specialist and I also sit on the board for Capable Kids Foundation as a co-founder. Um, so 
inclusive play is just an area I think that many of us don't realize what it can mean for a child and also for an adult with a disability. So when we create an inclusive playground, we're creating a safe space for people with and without disabilities to come together. And for the child, that means that they can grow and learn and develop together. They form friendships, relationships. And for the parents, it's being able to be with your child on the playground because there's ramped access to every point of this playground. There is a rubberized surfacing that allows wheelchairs and walkers to maneuver through effortlessly without be being said that message, oh, you can't go here. No, everything is accessible completely to everyone and anyone of any ability level. So what we're hoping for and what we research shows us is that these places, these safe spaces have the impact to change the trajectory of someone's life. It breaks barriers and it ensures that stigmas are never formed. You know, we grew up in a culture, and fortunately, a lot of the times where these children were kept in a special education classroom all day. And so um, growing up, you know, you're not used to it. So then you don't really know how to act. But at the end of the day, if from the, from the ground up in the developmental years of life, if they're always included, then that just means we grow up with diversity and inclusion from the get-go and we don't know the difference. And that's the beautiful thing because it transfers to the community, to the employment setting across the entire RGV and everywhere else. You know, we put disability in the forefront, not as an afterthought, that it's in, we normalize disability. So I'm talking about like architecture firms when we're creating buildings keeping in mind disability issues from the low vision and the blind or people who are deaf, you know, as a community, we embrace everyone. Um, and I talked about the employment setting, even in the employment sector, you know, just being able to really see the value of every individual, because at the end of the day, we're more like the same than we are different and we can all learn and grow from each other. What we really want to do is make sure that we think, speak, and feel and include everybody. Um, so there's access and there's inclusion. And what we want is access means people can get there. Inclusion means everybody can be together and play and grow and be together. So if you want to support capable kids, if you want to help our families and be part of this movement to change the tapestry of this area to an inclusive area, then you can contact, you can follow us on Facebook, Capable Kids Foundation. You can always call us at 956-277-1776. Send us a message on social media, Facebook, Instagram. It's the easiest way to get a hold of us. Follow us on Facebook because all of our uh, activities are posted on Facebook. Capable Kids Foundation is dedicated to enriching the lives of families with disabilities and they're proud to advocate for inclusion as well as offer community consulting. And the City of McAllen will continue working for all of its citizens. Now if you'd like more info on the all-inclusive park, you can feel free to follow the City of McAllen on social media or visit mcallen.net. All right, well, that is all of our time for now. We want to thank you again so much for joining us this morning and be sure to tune in again tomorrow because we'll be talking about Stop the Bleed Day, which although has passed, has great information that we can keep in mind every day to help save lives. We'll also have a local tax expert on the show to show us some tips and tricks to keep in mind for a more organized and prepared tax season. Now, don't forget to follow our team on social media for exclusive behind the scenes sneak peeks at what we've got filming for the show and of course you can always visit valleycentral.com to rewatch some of today's favorite segments. We've got all of that and so much more tomorrow on Valley Por Vida. We'll see you then.